So I just wanted to make this quick tutorial on ACC armor paint liveries just because it's easier to show stuff than actually trying to type out a document. So first we'll start by importing the car. So we go over to meshes down here. And then we go import. Replace existing because we want to get rid of that cube. Go on to the folder I created. We'll get the .obj of the car. Just hit import. So this is the AMR. This is what I've been using. So we'll use this as an example. Um, to start out with, I'd recommend just creating new paint layer and then deleting the original one. So that way you have a nice clean canvas to work with. Um, so first I'll just kind of show how to do quick painting. So we'll double click that to bring up this menu here. Also double click the layer to give us a quick little preview of what we're doing. So we can choose our color with this color wheel here. So let's say we want to make this car pink. So we'll go pink and you'll see that that changes there. And then we'll select the paint bucket and we want to set object. We want to set that to UV Island. So now what that lets us do is we basically can click on each part we want to paint and it'll only paint that part which is quite useful and as you can see it shows up on our preview here so say we want to go a different color so yeah that's just very quickly how to paint you can also do freehand painting as well just by clicking the paintbrush there's a bunch of settings here so say you want to do something like that, and you totally can. Um, well, I'll show quickly how to import an existing livery. So I just go over to textures, import. Here's just a base paint layer that I had pre-made. So what we're going to do is once we have it in textures, we're going to go new material. We're going to delete the RGB in the nodes, and then we're just going to drag and drop that. It'll create this little window here. We'll drag color to base color and then alpha to opacity. So the alpha channel is in the PNG, it's the fourth channel, which is for like opacity. So we just hook that up. And once we have that, we just drag and drop the material into the layers. And ta-da, we have this. So it, right now it is a, um, it's not a paint layer, so we can't edit this. If you wanted to edit it, you can just right click to paint layer and now we can draw on it with our brush here, just like that. So that's just quickly how to do that. Also show wrapping, which is pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and import this camo texture here, create a new material, same process. And we will just drag that over. So once we're done that, we just right click to fill layer. And we're going to change the projection to tri planner. And then what I like to do, just bumped it up to 4K, is mess with the UV scale and angle. Just, oh, there we go. Sometimes it doesn't like that. So I'll just set this to 10. It's probably a bit too small, so we'll go. Seven and set it to try planer, and as you can see, it actually does a pretty decent job of matching up all the panels and stuff. So this is nice if you want to just quickly throw something on the car. Say we only want certain parts to have this wrap. What we can do, we can right click. And then we can go, oh, sorry, we don't right-click. We go New, Black Mask. So we can get our Paint Tool. We'll make it white. And then while we have the mask selected, we can click on our Paint Bucket, make sure we're on UV Island, and there we go. So... Since we have this mask selected, essentially we're painting white onto this mask, which will let that show through. So, 
It's being a bit annoying for some reason. I have to double click. Not sure what's going on there, but this will let us say pretty quickly be able to wrap certain elements of a car, which is quite handy. And if you want to do something like you only you want to have almost all the car wrapped and just a few parts not wrapped, you'll go to a light mask and then you'll set your paint to black. And then when you click, it will remove that effect, which is quite nice. Um, another trick is you can import, say, like a carbon fire per layer, and we'll do the same process here. We will we'll drag that over. And get the material and then fill layer. Drag that to the bottom and then we'll just make that tiny. And the nice thing about this is now when we clear stuff off, it's going to show that carbon fiber layer. So that'll, if you have it set to um, 98 or 99 in the config file, It'll show you that. Just make sure to turn it off before you export. So say we want to export this car here. What we can do is we just go File, Export Textures, we'll go to Presets. We'll go to Base Color, and then Alpha Channel should be at Opacity. Export. Set the resolution, so 4K or 8K. Now we just click Export, and let's go Skin. Now if we take a look here, generates this skin file for us, which we can just throw into ACC. So that's pretty handy. Um, another thing I'll show real quick is adding textures here. So we'll just import a few of these that I already have. And what we can go, we can go create a new material, same process. Let's drag this over, drag that, drag that. And now if we go to the decal tool, which is the fourth one, on the 3D model, we can just We'll go and create a new paint layer for our decals. We'll put it on top. Set it to 4K. And we can just click. And as you can see down here, it shows up on the UV map. It's handy as you can have that overlapping a whole bunch of different panels. And the projection's pretty good. Um, there, I've run into a few weird things. It's just on this A. I know on the AMR it doesn't on the wing. I know other cars it may do it somewhere else's but it sometimes see how it projects through the bottom on some of the wing elements like if i go here it'll put these little lines so there there are a couple ways to get around that if you do run into that and you can see it wrapped on the bottom the easiest way is probably to create a new paint layer do your decal and then you can just erase what you don't want make sure you have a solid color selected when you use the erase tool or else it'll try to erase using that texture and that won't do anything and then once you're happy with that oh there it is a little bit there you can just right click and go merge down and that'll merge it onto your existing layer um and this is very useful so you can just throw down the quickest way i found is once you have your stamp brush you just select what you want so now it's taco bell now it's these logos here so we can go there switch it go there and we have this nice little thing on the wing here so that's very useful one last thing you can also anything you can do on the 3d model you can do on the 2d model so say you just want to throw that down there works like that you can also paint just like that, and it'll show up as well. Just make sure you have a clear bus selected. So yeah, hopefully that's useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. But yeah, hopefully this kind of makes your life easier.